So called out to this customer's address. Now the reason being is because they've had a handyman in who's put them in all this uh, waste kit and everything is leaking. So we're talking the basket strainers as well as all of the trap and all of the fittings. Now if we actually take it apart and have a look, you can see that basically everything is barely hanging on everything's barely hanging on because it's been cut too short now if you try pushing one thing in something else pops out so we're going to have to basically completely replace it now i don't like this particular waste kit i'm going to be putting in a different type of waste kit so let's take it all apart and we'll start from the top and work our way down taking it section by section apart to cause the least water damage in the cupboard <laughs> by spilling things and then we're going to be removing the baskets so to remove the basket strainers, take out the plug, access the nut, and then you just need to remove the nut. Now you can either use a socket set or a large flat-headed screwdriver. In this case, I'm actually using a chisel because it's a big, wide, flat head, and it's working perfectly. So you'll be able to see there's actually quite a lot of muck and grime underneath so we need to clear all of that away now we're just going to be taking and removing one of these traps so that you can have a little look and see what's going on inside so if you look nice and closely you can see it's split so it's been over tightened it's only plastic and it's just pulled up and split so we need to remove all the silicon and grime from round uh, where the old plug hole uh, and where it's been sat we're just going to be using a little scraper blade and we're just going to be using some blue roll just to wipe it away now it's not particularly stuck very well because it's silicon and silicon is not really going to help it seal up um, as you can see it just pulls away really easily and then we're just going to wipe it up with a bit of blue roll and that's pretty much good enough so let's have a look at the new basket strainers from McAlpine now I'm only going to be using McAlpine when it comes to uh, waste fittings I think they are the best for waste fittings so let's have a look at this one so we need to take this one apart so we can see what we got going on so unwind it take it apart as you can see it's the same style now you've got the black rubber which goes on the bottom and then the white washer goes on the top so that will create a seal on the top so luckily, because these were like for like McAlpine, the overflow kits, we've not had to get up there and try and replace those. Just push them in, make sure the rubber sits in nicely. Everything should just sit in where it needs to sit in. You don't need to force anything in place. Now on the other side, I could tell that the overflow was just a little bit longer. Now because it sags, you'll find that food and all sorts of rubbish will get st stuck inside of that little divot, that dip and it will cause a bad smell. So we're just gonna cut that back so that it's as straight as it can be. It goes straight in and it all runs downhill. You need to remember goat. What is the goat? Goat is gloves on attending traps. It also works for toilets as well. Goat, <laughs> gloves on attending toilets. So get our gloves on whilst we're doing as much as we can of this but now that we've got the new stuff we don't need no gloves because this is all nice and clean straight out of the factory now this is an sk2 uh dual basin uh trap so this will do both sinks so obviously you might have just the one outlet you might have two or you might have a bowl and a half so it all depends what size your bowls are and uh what height they are so these you can cut down, they're fully adjustable. So just make sure you put the little black O-ring inside when you're tightening these onto your basket strainers. Now, you don't have to go crazy tight, certainly not use any tools. Everything should just be hand tight, as tight as you can with your hands. Now there are some rubber rings that go up and uh, they go inside and they're flat. Like that one you can see there, it's not chamfered, it's just flat. Now you can cut this down to size so you make sure you've got your distance right and then we're going to put those on. Now this is only temporary, we just need to see where exactly the levels of everything needs to be. Is we're probably going to cut those two tails that come from the basket strainers down so that the trap is at the right height. But we're going to be having a look just at the lowest point possible to see whether or not it will fit. And oh, it's kind of close. It's a shame if there's no pipe work that you can cut back to make it fit. But in this case, we're going to actually have to add on some elbows, add on some fittings to raise up the pipe work and lift that trap up higher so that we can come up and meet it from our outlet. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, it's all very, very tight. I've got nothing that I can really cut back, but we're just going to measure up, put some fittings on 
and we still need to go just slightly higher just slightly higher and then we can come straight into that trap now just use some solvent weld uh, all depending on what sort of pipe you've got there's only two types there's push fit and there's solvent weld and on this case we've got some solvent weld so it's glue or solvent weld sorry not really glue it actually melts the plastic together and fuses it together so let's get on the utility, the washing machine, the appliance outlets connected, and they're pretty easy. You just cut them down to make sure it's nice and tight when it goes in. And then these don't have no washers inside of them, they just pull up two, they're just a chamfered fitting. So that's all looking pretty good. I think that's all of the connections made. So make sure everything is tight to so go over every joint that you've done make sure that you've tightened up everything as as tight as you can using your hands no tools and then we'll fill up the bowl let it go and make sure we've got no leaks so let's have a look underneath have we got any leaks no i think we're all good it's a new day it's a new hat look i, I mean i look like all i did was wear the same grim manky hat uh but I've got another one, look, eh? So, uh, if you like that video and you want to see more of this sort of thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's massive. It's huge. Look how big it is. It's I can't even see me anymore.